Have you guys heard anything about this Raider effect? We're going to talk about what it is and what it means for you. Hello and welcome to the Aaron Powers Show. I'm Aaron Powers with Keller Williams Southern Nevada and today is episode 7. Today's show is all about the Raider effect. Uh, have you guys heard that the Raiders are coming here to Las Vegas? Pretty sure you have, right? The Oakland Raiders are becoming the Las Vegas Raiders and they're transitioning. They're going to be moving here, uh, going to be starting in the season of 2020. So obviously it's going to be a huge, really big change to our city and something I definitely wanted to take some time and talk about. So a couple of things you'll see going on. The uh, Raiders Stadium, big huge stadium, is actually being built just south of the Mandalay Bay on the east side of the Strip. All kinds of cranes and actually been really cool watching it go up and and all the construction been actually a lot of fun to watch. Uh, as well, uh, some news we got recently, uh, the Raiders practice facility, uh, actually on the south side of town, it is just south of St. Rose, just behind where the new Costco opened up, right next to the Henderson Executive Airport, and we uh, just recently broke ground on that, so they're gonna start construction there too. The reason I bring both of those things up, first of all, is those are really the two big changes in landscape, or real estate, if you will, um, with different uh, areas, right? So we have the stadium and then the practice facility going to be the two main things built. Obviously when the Golden Knights came, we had the T-Mobile Arena built and then their practice facilities out over in the Summerlin area. So same kind of thing, just want to position those for you. And then I really wanted to get into how is this going to change for you? Uh, what effect will the Raiders really have? Will they have an effect? Obviously if you're thinking about buying a home, investing in a home, or if you're already a homeowner, it's gonna affect you a little bit differently. I ha all the time talk to people interested in buying, homeowners especially, you know, hey, have you had any thoughts of selling your home? Actually, yeah, Aaron, I have, but you know what? I'm gonna wait until the Raiders get here. And when the Raiders get here, I know real estate's just gonna go skyrocket. It's gonna go crazy. Prices are gonna go up. Everything's gonna sell for more. And I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna sell my house when the Raiders get here. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard this, and so I definitely thought it would be valuable to go over this a little bit. Now you might be thinking, okay, yeah, so the Raiders show up, uh, everything increases, you know, economy does well, and I agree. I, I agree with that. I agree that our economy is going to benefit from that coming to our city, absolutely. I mean, can you imagine all of the things that are, the parking and the tickets and the apparel and I mean you know it's it's endless obviously it's going to be you know the nights times two with the amount of fans and notoriety that they're going to bring here to Vegas however I don't necessarily agree on the real estate side of things you know if you think about it people that visit Las Vegas right we're not really in a normal city where you know other sports teams are we're really different I mean are people going to come to Vegas to see the Raiders that didn't already come here? You know, I mean, are people visiting Vegas regularly already anyways? I mean, they're coming once a year, once every couple years to visit. It's Vegas, right? I mean, we're the largest tourist destination there is. People come from every walk of life, country that you could imagine. And, you know, the Raiders coming is just adding another entertainment value to a city that already has a vast variety of them. So is it truly going to make the real estate market better? I'm not so sure. I mean, if every seller out there has the idea that they're going to wait for the Raiders to get here, you know, it's kind of like what I talked about on an earlier show. If you have that idea, how many hundreds or thousands of other people do you think have the same idea to wait until the Raiders get here to do something with their property? What's our inventory going to look like at that time? You think there's going to be more homes on the market? I do for sure. So as a seller, does that put you in a position to sell for more money? Or does it put you in a position to actually take longer and possibly even make less money because there's even more homes on the market? Now, yes, there'll be some people that come and the Raiders will provide jobs, obviously, right? They'll provide secondary jobs. You know, I think that part is probably endless. However, our jobs here in Vegas are, are mostly in the service industry anyways. I mean, we, we provide people on the strip, whether it's hotel, gaming, casino, restaurant, I mean, retail, everything you can imagine, we are huge in the service industry. And yeah, we'll, we'll add jobs to that. You know, however, I, 
I just don't believe that that is going to make our real estate market just thrive. You know, I mean, we're going to have, still going to have home buyers, still going to be moving here from other states. I mean, I, this may just be me, but do you really think that just because the Raiders are coming, everyone that follows the team is going to immediately want to buy property here in Las Vegas? I mean, I don't think so. I think that people are really going to still maintain their visits to Vegas. The difference is, is maybe your team is playing the Raiders and their game is in November. And so you know what? Instead of coming to Vegas for spring break, you're going to make your annual trip to Vegas in November when you can come, enjoy Las Vegas, and hey, now, guess what? You get to go see a Raiders game at the same time. And you can incorporate all of that in. And you might be saying, well, Aaron, Aaron, there's going to be all these investors coming to spend their money in Vegas now because the Raiders are here. They're going to want to buy rental properties. They're going to want to Airbnb, so on and so forth. And to that I say, I agree with you. However, I believe that the savvy investor and the person who really wants to drop their money in for that reason has probably already done it. I mean, think about it. We've known they're coming now for quite a while. Anyone really savvy with their money and does investing for a living think they're going to jump in right away or wait until they get here? Probably going to have already jumped in, right? And that's exactly kind of where I'm coming from too. Now, I, I touched a little bit on it, the whole uh, Airbnb idea, the vacation rentals here in Vegas. Um, are there certain parts you can do it? Yes. Are any of those next to the Strip? <laughs> no, they're not. And actually, the county, Clark County, and the city of Las Vegas, city of Henderson, has been doing everything they can lately uh, to actually try to eliminate as many of those as possible in the Airbnb world because we want all of our revenue coming to the Strip, right? The casinos, hotels, they're going to want to make their money. They're not going to want other people dipping into that pot. So just kind of an inside look at, at what we, we might be dealing with. And, you know, I'd encourage you to, you know, let me know what you think. Do you think that when the Raiders get here, our real estate economy is just going to boom? I just personally don't see it. I don't see how one entity coming to town is going to create a real estate buzz and a buying and selling in every other area that might not even be close to where those you know, buildings are. Now, is the area over in Henderson, by the M, by the Costco, by Henderson Executive Airport where the practice facility is going up, do we think that those uh, home prices in that area is going to appreciate? Absolutely, yes. I mean, look at all the things they're building over there for sure. You're going to have more value in your property, no question. And how about some of the, the high rises and the lots and areas for sale around where the Raiders Stadium is being built? Are those areas going to go up? Oh, of course, for sure. And at the same time, there's not really a whole lot of you know, residential living right next to it that people are really going to want to, to go for and, and move. So if you're in one of those specific areas, it could be different for you. I totally understand. I, I'm really talking about the vast variety of homeowners here in Vegas, in Henderson, and North Las Vegas, you know, even uh, close out in Boulder City, you're, you're not going to see a huge change. You know, in fact, I actually think if everyone sticks to this, oh, I'm waiting for the Raiders to come, I think our inventory is going to go way, way up, which honestly, getting the most money for your home might not be the best thing. So just some, some information for you to think about. I uh, wanted to give you possibly a different opinion than what you've heard or some articles you've read. And please, let me know what you think. Get, you know, give me some feedback. It, it, you know, do, do you like it? Do you, do you agree? Do you disagree? <clears throat> That's okay. I'm always looking for you know, different forms of opinion and love to be able to discuss it with you. So again, thanks for watching. And who do you know that might be looking to take advantage of our real estate market now before the Raiders come?